Good morning, everybody. It's Bishop Deb coming to you from Niagara on the Lake. And I am on the river, well, beside the river in my car, not quite in it. But I, I marvel at the the birds that are floating in that very, very cold water. It gives It's a good advertisement for down pillows, right, and down comforters. If they can swim in that, anything made of those feathers, that down is going to be pretty warm. Ah, well, it actually, it's not all that cold. It's nine degrees. It's um, 14th day of Lent, I believe. We're getting through it. Uh, Easter is on its way. I used to love that in Toronto. The, you know, you go from terrible snow and slush and, and just the dullness of, of uh, February, then, you know, March, kind of heralding spring here and there. And I'll never forget, I was... Uh, priest at a little church in the west end of Toronto and it would just it was just dreary it was a dreary spring um, I guess it was March dreary March and kind of one of those you know you lift your head to see the sky and it's gray again and I remember coming out of the church and going around to the the back parking lot and suddenly there were all these crocuses and all these tulips peeking out of the soil and it was like I'll never forget that moment of joy. Just like, oh my gosh, there's color. And that's that's where we're at in this point in the calendar. You know, we're about to see some color from the gray and the skeletal trees. And I I welcome that. I'm, uh, I, I thrive on that kind of color. I'm sure many of us do. So I hope you're having a good day. It's, it's just, life gets so busy. I can't believe it's Wednesday. I've had um, every night some sort of online session with people. Last night was with the the deacons. They are training to be priests. It was a wonderful session. I so enjoy those people. I am so proud of each and every one of them. Tonight I have uh, a a two-parter with candidates who are learning to be pastoral chaplains and wedding officiants. So uh, never a dull moment. I've got a a lot of things on my desk. You should see my office. Looks like a bomb went off in it. But, you know, somebody said that clutter is just um, visual indecision. But in my case, it's just things waiting to be done. And that's not about indecision. It's just a time factor. Um, but uh, I don't complain because it's it's just work I love, eh? It's work I love to do. I hope you do work that you love to do. Or or find a hobby that is uh, that fills your, your spirit somehow. You know, it's those creative things we do that, that really feed our spirit, that take advantage of the skills that we have, that make us feel good about ourselves. So if you haven't picked up your paints, or if you haven't written that book, or, if, you know, painted the house, um, done something that that you're good at, that feeds your spirit, that uses your imagination and your creativity. That is a wonderful, affirming thing to do for yourself. And often, we were talking about this last night, people see it in ourselves before we do. Or we they, they will ask us to do something because they think we're good at it. And it's uh, it's nice to have people that will do that, you know? Can you come and help me? I need I need advice on decor. I need I need to know where this chair will go. Something that simple it really picks up our spirits, and it's helpful too. Anyway, I'm going to head back and face my office, but let's begin this Wednesday with a prayer to get you on your day and and protect you through through it through the mighty work of our loving Creator. Let's pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of this new day, this Wednesday, middle of the week. We ask that you hallow it, make it holy, make it sacred for us, that everything we do and everywhere we go, we are ambassadors of your love, that as we reach for a door, we hold it open for someone. As we go through the grocery line, we're attentive to the people around us. Help us to pray for those in need, those whom we pass by on the road, those whom we encounter in our daily walk, those in our lives who need to know healing at this time. 
who are in anxiety and distress. We ask that you send your holy angels to each and every person on this planet in their need and to us in ours. We often brave things and try to be in control and try to master everything, don't we? Today, gracious God, we rest in you. We depend on you to provide for us. We are all your children. We are heirs to your kingdom. And we are inheritors of your riches, your blessings, your grace. Today, may we realize that we are in the midst of those blessings. And may we be grateful and thankful as we receive them. And in all this, we give thanks in your holy name. Amen. Well, that was a quick little speaker today for you. And I hope that you have a, a wonderful day, a blessed day. And I'll talk to you again probably tomorrow on Prayer on the Go. God bless.